What's happening today? The J pipe is finally going on. This isn't going to be a full tutorial on removing every individual piece and part because a lot of those are already out there. They exist. You can go watch those if you want. I'm already halfway into it. We've got the car kind of torn apart. Took off the splash guard as you can see here. We took <laughs> off the skid plate here. Those are all pretty simple. And now we are up under the car. Took off the heat shield as well, which is that little piece, that little guy right there next to the new J-pipe. This is the Turbo XS J-pipe with a cat. So I got the catted version. So right now I just have the fan going, cooling off the turbo and the J-pipe so I don't burn myself. We got the bottom two nuts broke on the stud so we can loosen those. Been using PB Blaster to get everything nice and lubed up for us. If you guys don't know, there's basically four nuts that go on the studs holding this to the turbo. These bottom two are pretty easy. There's another one up here that's gonna be semi-difficult to get to. And then there's one back up in here, which is the difficult guy to hit. What makes it nice about this J-pipe in particular is it's not one solid piece. So when I do get up under there, all I have to do is worry about fitting this to the turbo first and then attaching the rest of the uh, mid pipe down the way. So should be good to go. It's going smooth so far, fingers crossed. Other thing that is slightly difficult is getting the O2 sensor unplugged. So right there, I gotta get that unplugged. There's another O2 sensor kind of back this way a little bit. It's hard to see from the top. Those are always fun. As you know, those wires and the harnesses are always difficult to unplug. Zico. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey. Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, buddy. What is this? What are you doing? What are you doing? The other paparuski. What are you doing? What are you doing over there? What are you doing over there? You want to drive the Corvette, don't you? Don't you? You want to drive the Corvette, don't you? Yep. There's the old 64, baby. 64 Stingray. Oh, oh. So we removed the first O2 sensor that sits before the cat. Here's the second O2 sensor. You can see it's got a little bit more carbon build up because we haven't cleaned it up yet. Not that it necessarily needs cleaned up because it's going to get carbon build up again. But this one's going to go just right behind the cat. If you're having difficulty getting them out, that's what the plugs look like. So the black one is a little bit wider, the green one's skinnier, but all you have to do is push down on these tabs on the end closest to the wire and then pull them straight out. Top one there, top left is out. However, if you want to take a good look, just a good look, we uh, stripped the nut just a wee bit and the stud came out with it. So I did not order any extra hardware. Probably not the smartest choice on my end. I did get the first battle wound. Check out those knucks. Yep, a little blood. Mm-hmm. Scraped it right here on the corner there. Whoop, these little tiles on the garage just raked it. Oh, let me back up a little bit. So this is for the top right stud or the top right nut that we're trying to get. We ran our ratchet and extension up above the J-pipe here, down along, obviously up top. And there's kind of like a little track that it just sets in right there. Let me get a get some light on there for you. Come on, dude, why won't you focus? It's right in that little track. It's trying to focus on everything. So we're gonna go ahead and spin it out. I'm thinking the stud is probably gonna be coming with it this time. I guess we'll see what happens. Oh uh, man, we removed another stud. <laughs> it's not a huge problem. We can still reuse this, obviously. I'm gonna drop this one in here. And penetrate, penetrating oil as well. And then hopefully get the rest of this rocking and rolling, brother. All right, so here she is. The stock J-pipe in all of her glory. On the left, we have the Turbo XS. On the right, we have the stock J-pipe and the man tripping in the background. All right, let me see, just judging. 
Eh, it's a little bit lighter, maybe a couple pounds, but... Not much? Feel, doesn't feel much lighter, unless my right arm is just really strong. Could be. We're halfway there, we gotta put this back on, flash the car, it's gonna be great. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Da -da -da. Here we go. <laughs> Here, are you sure this doesn't have something? Trying just to hand tighten the studs. Just finishing up the final touches. 17 hours later. All right, we're finished up. She's bolted up. Still haven't put the splash tray back on yet because we're gonna give it the inaugural start up before we get too crazy. Gotta flash the Sage 2 Plus map with the access port first, because I also have the intake installed in this car, and we're gonna get you behind it. All right, the inaugural start with the new Turbo XS J Pipe, baby. Here we go. What do you think? What do you think? How loud is it? I just hope be? it starts. What? I just hope it starts. Me too. so loud. We're gonna have to go for a test drive, see how she feels. Sounds much more free flowing. Whoa, not even pointing myself. I'm over here, I'm over here. Much more free flowing exhaust. Oh my God. The stock throttle mapping on this car was very, very sensitive. So almost half throttle was as if you were at full throttle. It was just the way they had the, the throttle mapped. Then when I flashed it to stage one and added the intake and all that stuff, it was a little bit more linear. So it felt like you got the full travel of the pedal and it, it corresponded how fast, like how fast you're going. Now it's even more so. It just feels like you barely touch it and barely anything happens. Like I could just stall out. We're gonna take it for a little spin, see how it feels. Let it warm up for a couple minutes here and then itch my nose. Can hear the pops, baby. Oh man. This thing is a beast. I can't tell if I want to have the windows down a little bit so you guys can hear it, but I don't want there to be a ton of wind noise. That's the only thing. Oh man, I love it so far. I mean, how could you not love it? I didn't think that I was gonna dislike it. Let's, let's put it that way. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, you gotta be careful not to uh, choke it taking off. It takes a little bit more finesse. Sixth gear. 
And it's quiet. We're nothing. It's quiet. That's nothing. I don't hear any sounds coming from that Z06. so much more freely now. It... Oh my gosh. It did not pop like that before, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Listen to that. You just hear that turbo whistle. This has some good low-end torque now. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty fast. Oh, shoot. That's great. Final verdict. Final verdict is it's amazing, it's addicting, and that's why, uh, that's why modding your car is, is a thing. I Smell mean, all that um, penetrating fluid burning off. Yeah, is that what that is? Or your engine's on fire. Hope not. It is smoking. That's the penetrating fluid. I hope so. I'd turn Shit. it off though. <coughs> so there is a little bit of smoke. There was some oil on the J pipe when we installed it. I don't know, you can't really see the smoke coming up, but there was some oil on the J pipe and it just felt like I don't know if it was just a protectant from the shipping, but it definitely felt kind of slippery. So I think that's burning off. And then also all the penetrating fluid we sprayed down there. So it's just kind of smoking a little bit. You know, that ain't good, but it isn't terrible. We'll let it smoke out there for a minute. I don't know why the autofocus is not on on this thing. All right, the inaugural. <clears throat> Keep looking at the camera, damn it. Oh, 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 oh,